All right. So check this out. I love this slide because you know, people throw around the term metabolism all the time, like this affects your metabolism, you're gonna ruin your metabolism. Well, this is your metabolism. And in the middle for you, you know, geeky people like Neil and I is the Krebs cycle, <laughs> the citric acid cycle, right? That produces all the ATP for the most part throughout the day. And so what this represents is everything that's needed to happen to keep you alive. You know, your heart beating, your brain working, you're digesting food, transporting oxygen to your muscles um, when you're working out. So this all happens automatically without any effort on your behalf. So this is what metabolism really is. And so you may be wondering, well, what does it take to run your metabolism? You already know, right? We have six classes of nutrients that's required to run your metabolism and oxygen, which is, of course, you know, it's not a nutrient. But we have the macronutrients, carbs, proteins, fats. And, you know, this actually depicts alcohol as a macronutrient. For some of you, that might be a macro. <laughs> you know, we hope it's, During the shutdown, it's become one for a lot of us. <laughs> yeah, it's become a, a macro for a lot of us. But we need those in large quantities because what do they do? It provides energy in the form of ATP to make all those reactions run, right? So we need to have these on a daily basis. What happens when you don't get enough macros? Well, you start to lose weight, right? Your body starts to use its own energy to keep you going. Um, and then we have the micronutrients, the vitamins and minerals, and that's what we'll be talking about largely today. Okay, what are vitamins and minerals? Well, they're what's, what's called cofactors in metabolic pathways, and enzymes basically kickstart a reaction, and those enzymes are proteins, and those proteins require cofactors in these various metabolic pathways of metabolism. And there's approximately 30 vitamins and minerals, right, required for human health. And so here are some examples, as this infographic shows, of some of the things that the vitamins and minerals do. Well, we need your B vitamins to extract energy. You guys have probably heard this, you know, B vitamins give you energy. Well, you need them to extract energy, yes, from food. Vitamin D, we've, we've heard a lot about vitamin D during, during COVID. And what do you need it for? You need it to form bone, also through your immune system to have the appropriate response to fight off a virus or a bacteria. And vitamin D really acts more like a steroid hormone in that it affects about a thousand different biological processes in the body. That's about a, you know, a fifth of our human genome. It's pretty amazing how many things vitamin D affects. And then vitamin E, it's actually a, a family of vitamins, if you will. It's an antioxidant. What does that actually mean? That means it helps protect cells from being damaged. Your cells, you know, have that lipid bilayer, if you would remember. And so vitamin E protects the lipid bilayer and all the other components from being damaged. And then vitamin K, there's actually two forms. You need vitamin K, also a fat-soluble vitamin. You need to form blood clots pretty important and to shuttle calcium into bone. And we'll get into vitamin K and vitamin E and vitamin D a little bit deeper as we go along. And then magnesium is a mineral. Essential mineral, it does a lot. 300 different reactions in the body. It regulates muscle contraction, nerve transmission. You also need it to repair DNA. And then iron, of course, you need it to transport oxygen throughout your body, through your organs, through your muscles, Etc. So these are just some of the examples of the vitamins and minerals and some of their functions. Many of the vitamins and minerals, almost all, have multiple functions throughout the body. So this is sort of like a little introductory of what they do.